Hello friends. This is going to be an example of what I'll be doing in my video tutorial today on screen painting. I used two different color reds, this one and this one. Again, you should be having like squirt cans, I'm sorry, squirt things to get the color out, but I'm improvising because I don't have that. So I had to use this little container and this little acrylic paint in here. And I'll show you how I smooth those out to create this. I call it a flower. It's some type of flower. I'm not sure what. I haven't done the center yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to black dot the center. But we'll see. So the next colors I'm going to use, I'm staying on the same color path. I'm just using lighter and darker of the same color. I think that makes it not as, it doesn't pop as much if you use two different colors. I don't like that effect. I like more of a blending effect with the dark and the light in the same color wheel. So what I do is I'll take, this is called Ultra Marine Blue. And what I'll do, and this is a little hard to do with these containers, but we're gonna do it. I'll take this and I'll just kind of make a small circle around. And depending upon how much or how big I want my flat, that didn't get as good as I wanted, so I'm gonna kind of mess with it a little bit. Depending upon how big or how small I want my flower to be, that's how much paint I'll be using. This one I used a little bit more paint, but that's okay. Like I said, it's hard to get it out. The first one I did was good. But someone ended up talking on the video and we had to redo it. I hate when people do that when you're trying to explain something and they just blatantly come into your space and start speaking. This is a little, the other one I wish you could have seen, it was really, really a lot neater. This is a little messier, but let's see how this turns out. So I'll take my spoon, which I have red on, I'll get that off, because I don't want any red on this. This is just going to be shades of blue. And I think it gets pretty neat if you're not good at drawing, um, which I'm not, so I use other techniques that assist me. So I'm going to pull from the center outward and I'm going to start here and I'm just going to push down and just pull that out. This is getting a little lighter. I'm just kind of, and it takes practice. You have to do this a couple times before you're going to get the effect that you want. I personally like the red color better, and I didn't use as much red on my first one. I used a lot less than I'm using on this one. But you're getting the idea, and I definitely like the red better. I think it pops a little more with the background. I'm going to use a light beige. In the middle of this, I'll either use yellow or black dots for like the seeds in the center of the flower. That's a little bigger than this one and I don't like the way it got. I'm not sure why. I think it because it was bigger and the spoon that I was using maybe looked better when I made it a little smaller. I think if I touched it up a little bit with the black dots and finished it off it'll look good. Um, but that's it for, okay, I'm just being handed two different colors, purples. Um, okay, so my niece wants me to try these colors. We'll try these and see how they look. Not, definitely not going to try to make this as big as the other one because I didn't like it being that big, not with the tools that I have. really hard to do this because it's just it's make it so
so much when you use that container. It, it takes out a lot of paint. As long as I make a circle, it should be okay. I don't know. We'll see. This is using two different purples. I definitely like the red one the best. And this one I haven't used at all. Or I have, but the plastic's still on it. So I haven't used this one. Well, let's take this. Let's take this off. Sorry. Nope. Well, I'll do it a different way because that's not working. All right. Here's two different colors. Not sure why I never used this one. All right. Okay, let's pull this out again like we did with the others. Start from the center and just pull. This is going to be another big one because I used a lot of paint. I definitely like the red one the best. Just going around. I'm pulling my paint out from the center. Make it a little bit. I don't like this one that much. I definitely like the red one the best. You can be the judge for yourself. All right, well, that was just a little tutorial. The real parts are going to happen when I put them on the canvas. I like the red one the best. I don't know about everybody else. All right, everyone, I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button, and we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. I'm going to try to.